Greetings, pen pals. I have an interesting pen here today. This is a wooden pen from Pilot. It's a fairly small pen. It is the Legno 89S. When I say it's a small pen, I'm really kind of serious about that. So here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, it is quite a bit smaller than these guys. So it's a small pen, but it is wood. So it's kind of cool. Not a heavy material, only weighs in at 18 grams. Um, you're probably wondering if we can compare it, uh, to emphasize the size of this, could we compare it to some other Pilot pens? We certainly can. Okay, so here we are comparing, this is our Legno 89S that we're talking about today to some other Pilot pens. So this is a Pilot Metropolitan, uh, sort of a very standard size pen. Again, quite a bit smaller than that. Uh, a Pilot Custom Heritage uh, 91, which also is, is not considered a big pen, about the same size as the Metropolitan. And again, it's still quite a bit bigger than our Legno. And of course, the Pilot Custom 823, which is a very big Pilot pen, is very much uh, bigger than the Legno. So um, in terms of girth, even it's a little narrow. It's definitely skinnier than either of these guys. It's even a little bit skinnier than the Metropolitan, etc. So basically a small pen, not a big pen at all. Um, but Really nice pen, great material, and let's get into that. Okay, Legno is the Italian word for wood. It's also the name of another pen that Pilot makes. So this is a Legno, just a plain old Legno uh, from, uh, from, uh, from uh, Pilot. And um, this is the uh, ballpoint. This Legno is a ballpoint. So this is a, a much bigger pen, obviously. It's a full-size pen. It's a ballpoint, a very nice ballpoint. I'll probably, Pilot makes quite a few wooden body pens, actually. And I'm definitely going to, I'll probably do a video just on Pilot wood pens. But anyway, this is the Legno, which is, like I said, is the Italian word for wood. And this is the Legno 89S, which is the fountain pen we're talking about today. So the thing that, to me, that really makes this a special pen is this extraordinarily nice, all-natural, wood material. It doesn't have a ton of finish on it, so um, you definitely feel the grain of the wood uh, when you're holding the pen, which is really, really nice. And again, it's all natural wood grain, wood material, so obviously no two pens are going to be completely alike in that regard. So we're talking about a really nice pen with some super nice natural wood material. Um, it's a pull to uncap pen and um, it's a short pen. You got to post it and to me it's even kind of short posted. So this is this is not like I said a big pen at all. Um, I think a really cool pen would be is if they came out with this pen in this size or even just maybe a fountain pen version of this pen. Those don't exist to the best of my knowledge but that would be really really cool. So I would really love a big big sort of full size pilot fountain pen in this wood material. It would just be great. So going over the different uh, parts, um, on the cap band, it says Legno 89S, Pilot Japan. Um, the clip itself is a uh, really nice, fairly standard looking Pilot clip that's very, very functional. Um, the finials are, ma are sort of, they match each other, but obviously very different size, but they sort of match each other very nicely, matching finials, color shapes, etc., matching the uh, clip ring and the trim ring on the bottom and the finial do match each other. Um, in terms of section, what we're talking about here is um, a, a black plastic section with trim rings at either end, which looks quite nice. And in terms of filling mechanism, as you can imagine, cartridge converter, um, and you're kind of limited in what converters will fit this. Obviously, a big Con 70 will not even come close to fitting in this. Um, so here we have it with a Con 40, and we've said it before, pilot converters are, let's just say, suboptimal at best. So you kind of are, are kind of at the mercy of using pilot cartridges or something like a Con 40, which is not a great converter. Now let's talk about the nib. This is a really nice 14 karat rhodium plated pilot a nib. It says pilot uh, 14 karat 585 and uh, th a size uh, 3. It's what they call the size 3 nib and um, has an M for medium and like most pilot gold nibs has a date code at the very base of the nib which indicates when the nib was manufactured. In terms of the feed, it is an ordinary plastic feed, but it does have one nice feature that some pilot pens have on their feed. The uh, filler hole for the pen is located in the middle of the feed and you don't have to immerse the whole uh, nib up to the section in order to fill it, which is a really, really nice 
nice uh, feature of, of this. So again, it's plain plastic feed, nothing special about it, but especially on a short pen like this, having the filler hole only kind of halfway up the feed is just a, a super nice feature that I really uh, kind of like. Um, that is about the parts of this pen. Again, the two distinguishing characteristics of this from my perspective are the size. If you really, if you want a small-ish pen, maybe you have small hands or you need a small pen for whatever reason, fit in a notebook or something, great pen for that. So it definitely is a smallish pen, even for people who consider something like the Custom Heritage 91, which is not considered a big pen. If you want something even quite a bit smaller than that, you have this, uh, this pen available. Um, the other th thing to me that I just love about it is, again, this fantastic uh, natural wood grain material, which just, to me, looks great. So, so like I said, in my pers from my perspective, this, the real appeal of this pen is just the wood material, which I just think is just terrific. Got a great feel to it, etc. cetera. Um, and um, I really like it uh, quite a bit. Wood fountain pens are a little uncommon. Um, and um, this one's a particularly nice one. So that's about it for this pen um, in terms of the outside uh, appearance. But, as we've always said, pens were meant to write, so let's see how it writes. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here today is a pilot. Legno. 89S. And this has a 14-carat um, nib in medium. And um, I will say something about this nib. This is, um, I'm a big fan of Pilot nibs. I have a lot of Pilot pens, but this is one of the best writing Pilot nibs that I have. This nib just writes absolutely fantastic. So it is smooth. It is decently wet, I'd say. Not like a gusher, but it's definitely above average in wetness. Um, and I really like it, and it just writes, um, just a great writing pen. One of my favorites of my pilots, and I have a lot of pilots, and I a lot, pretty much like them all. Um, so, one other thing, it's definitely got a little bit of bounce to this nib. I wouldn't call it a flex pet nib, but it definitely has a little bit of bounce to it. Not a flex nib, but like I said, compare that to say something like the Conklin Omniflex. This nib, I believe, flexes quite a bit more than the Conklin Omniflex, and that's marketed as a flex nib, and this is not. So there you go. But this is just a just a great, um, great nib. Really like it. Just fantastic flow. Great writing pen. Really comfortable. Again, it's a short pen. It's a light pen. You get the feel of the wood, which is nice. Um, the section's comfortable. Just a great, great, great writing pen. Um, can't, can't say, I, I can't say enough nice things about this pen. One of my absolute favorites. Great pen. I think that's just about enough to say about this pen for now, but let's talk about this ink now for a moment, shall we? Okay, the ink we're writing with here today is Orochizuku. Ku. Jaku. And um, this is sort of like a, almost like a minty bluish green. Um, here it is uh, on the card. Um, and here it is compared to something like Colorverse Photon, which is really a very minty color. Um, and here it is compared to just like a, just a true green, which is a uh, Twisby Emerald Green, just to give you a difference between this pen and Twisby Emerald Green. So this is definitely, the Photon is definitely kind of like a minty green. This is like uh, a true green. And this is sort of somewhere in the middle with obviously a lot more blue in it. But um, kind of a, it's a different kind of color, to be honest with you. I, there aren't, I don't have t too many inks that are exactly this color. So it, it definitely falls in an interesting part of the color spectrum. Get, it does shade uh, a, a bit, which is nice. Um, and I really like it. Nice, nice pen from Orochizuku. Um, writes uh, really well. Um, that's what it looks like on this uh, Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick uh, look at what this ink looks like on Tomoe River paper. All right, folks, so as we said, this ink is Orochizuku. Ku Jaku. 
And um, again, nice looking ink. Definitely picks up some uh, shading and variation on this Tomoe River paper, which looks great. Um, definitely a pretty color. I like it quite a bit. Um, and again, it's a little bit different. Somewhere straddling that bluish, depending uh, what mood I'm in, I'll either call this a blue or a green. Um, um, but uh, definitely walks the line between uh, both of them, which is, which is kind of a nice. Um, speaking of kind of nice, one thing that would be really nice is if you folks could all please like, comment, share, and subscribe that would just be fantastic and very much appreciated but I think that'll just about do it for this video as always I hope you enjoyed watching it because I certainly enjoyed making it and until we see each other again have a great day bye bye